Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Solo Sticks, and today we are playing episode number nine of the Cory. The last episode had some pretty huge changes. Some huge things happened. Um, <clears throat> I thought Jacob had been killed, and he was not. So it was actually uh, Hackett's daughter. So interesting. Um, I'm still not sure where this is going. Obviously, I still think we're dealing with werewolves as far as the creatures. However, I'm not sure who's good, who's bad, who's what. Um, I do know that the camp director guy is in cahoots with the, uh, the redneck people, right? So <clears throat> the phone call, I went back and listened to one of my earlier play throughs and the phone call that ryan uh eavesdropped on was bobby you heard the name bobby and bobby's the redneck guy um that we're calling um john boy so anyway obviously he's involved with this whole thing with all the werewolves and whatever um and the hag of hackett's Corey. um yeah, not not a hundred percent sure. So um, anyway, anxious to see where this episode's gonna go, guys. Hopefully, I'll have this one posted by the fourth because I got a Fourth of July theme going on. Happy Fourth of July, everyone! Hope you guys are having a great weekend. So, episode nine, let's jump right in and see where this story's gonna go next. All right, peeps, here we are. We're back right where we left off. Boy, this story is getting crazy. So, um, as I said, I'm not sure where we're going to go with this story, but I am excited because I'm um, trying some new drinks tonight. Uh, I'm going to wish you guys a happy fourth on this one. And then with that said, I'm drinking watermelon lemonade, which is kind of like it's kind of like decorated all patriotic and stuff so happy fourth you guys i got my patriotic hat going on and i'm drinking a patriotic drink happy fourth of july episode nine cheers to episode nine mm. yeah that's good i also have another drink i might pop open tonight i'm gonna try something new this is Appropriate because it's blood orange and this is called splash fizz never tried it before it's a zero cal zero sugar drink um, Don't know if it's any good or not. We're gonna try it possibly um, I Think we're good to go gonna get out my chocolate Just in case we roll a hot jelly bean again. I'm up to 19 hots um, I don't know if I'll outdo my last episode so let's get into this episode guys i am not sure where i'm i'm off center there we go i'm not sure even where this where this is gonna go so let's get right back into this story guys chapter seven so uh why didn't you come where have you been for the past two months we did come one night early. Man, look at her face. That was our mistake. Do we get to go backwards? Oh yeah, we do. So this is right after she got injected. So remember the, remember the tarot card, guys, the tarot card. Come on. Get in there. 
I don't know, is I was supposed, supposed to call out or not. What the hell? You goddamn kids. Where the hell? Okay. Officer Ted. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Bad cop routine. <clears throat> Name. <clears throat> All right, so we got a choice. On the right, we've got angry. Eat shit. On the left, we've got compliant Laura Kennedy. Ah, oh, eat shit, dude. Eat shit. When I say name, you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license. Can you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. Point. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh. Why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like way closer to the camp and we're broke. Mm -hmm. North Kill County. Intrigued? Okay, Sheriff, or annoyed. That Sheriff badge doesn't mean a lot. <sighs> okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Okay. Choice. Angry. Stop fucking around. Or pleading. Please stop trying to intimidate me. I don't know. I don't know. Please. Will you just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on? Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. Try that shit with me. That was a bad idea. Hey! Hey! You! Asshole! 
You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Concerned? Are you okay? Or dismissive? Screaming isn't gonna help. I think I screwed up. I screwed up. Max! Are you okay? Yeah. I screwed up! <clears throat> I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. <clears throat> Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and... stuff... everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Disappointed. I was hoping you might know, or suspicious. He wanted me to confess. Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Packet's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on, move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! Gotta be something in here you can use. Man, she's bloody. Big time. What? While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Hmm. This doesn't paint a particularly favorable picture of Sheriff Hackett. Perhaps it isn't the first time he's locked someone up illegally. Hmm. It's 
says. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. guys oh, yeah this ought to do it all right ha huh? all right all right hold the phone I didn't start my episode with the jelly belly will be two. regular jelly belly we landed on Eve I this is birthday cake Birthday cake or dirty dishwater, guys. All right. I don't even know if I've ever actually had the birth cake, birthday cake one. Oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Man, that's bad. Oh, we got in there. Put your hand in. Shit, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Aggressive. What's that supposed to mean? Or fearful will answer your questions. I don't know which way I want to play this, guys. I don't know, man. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? supposed to mean asshole huh I don't know if I'm playing this one right hey, guys you can't just leave us in here hey come back <sighs> fuck Playful, how did it go? I'm serious. You okay? Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll <laughs> heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. No, because you didn't uh. get bit. Rude. <laughs> Yeah, I think I screwed up. I don't know. 
Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? <laughs> As in camp leader Mr. <coughs> Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? We got reflective. He's not acting like a kidnapper or suspicious. Some kind of setup. Hmm... I don't know, man. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? You ever been kidnapped? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What cool. then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Encouraging. This isn't forever. Or frustrated. Lighten up. Gonna be encouraging. This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. <laughs> nice dialogue. First? We're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer, and then college. I mean, if we're gonna freaking crush it at orientation, we gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. But you're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I, I didn't get in. What? I got rejected from the wait list. Why didn't you tell me? I... I was embarrassed. Wait... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max! What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Sarcastic? Maybe. Sorry I lied to you. Or empathetic. Yeah, empathetic. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. I'm sorry. Oh. I shouldn't have kept it from you. Hold on. Hold you know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. Hold the phone. All right. I had to fix my webcam. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this now because I don't feel like I've done enough yet this episode. Roll the five and a four. Hot. Oh, hot. Spin. Want to touch the hiney? Oh my gosh! Again, 
I'm I'm not. This isn't a. I'm not kidding you. I just rolled another four of Carolina Reaper, guys. Ugh. 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 All right. Gosh dang, man. I have four in my hands. Four Carolina Reapers. With that said, oh my gosh. <coughs> We're going to try this. Blood orange. <coughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I think it's good. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Whew. Whew. Oh yeah, it's heating up. Jakaris. <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> now you're not going to start that, are you? I can't help it, boss. <laughs> Stop hiccuping! First you wheeze and then you hiccup! I can't help it. I always hiccup when I get nervous. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah. That was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a... A dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. That? What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking the same thing. What? Hey... Okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. He knows. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, no. maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Hey, are you out of here? You know, goddamn mine. <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? Oh. What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. All right. We got calm. You want answers or aggressive? Shut the fuck up. How about Ryan? Right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Hold the phone, guys. I gotta get a tissue. Okay. Had to get a tissue. Man, that one got me good, man. I don't know why yesterday I did the four 
Carolina Reapers and it didn't hardly do anything. And that one just just absolutely kicked my ass. I don't get it. Speaking of though, guys, I was at Wally Mart today, the Wally World, and I happened to see this Cheetos Carolina Reaper. Yeah, yeah. So it must be a sign. If I roll another hot one, <gasps> we're gonna eat one of these. I'm glutton, glutton for punishment. Glutton for punishment. What the hell is wrong with you? Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With yeah. the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Or not. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which your face to cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She got a whole poem about it. Got into my hand and it went bad. So I lapped it off at the wrist. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care, but I think you should hear all of it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, just uh... going back to the past. Yeah. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Bax and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Uh-huh. But... Hmm. Curious. What if... We got on his good side... And... Re reckless... We gotta escape. I'm curious. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. Optimistic. I think we should try. Or 
resigned. Escape is the only way. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think getting on Officer Ted's good side is gonna freaking do us any good. Ugh. You're right. Escape's the only way. Hey, what's he gonna do to us that's any worse if we get caught, right? Let's just... not get caught. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and... Take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though, you know? That's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. I don't know, man. Really? Careful. Ah, ah, ah. Really? You done messed up, hey, Ron? Now take your ass on down to Osag Hennessy's office right now and tell him exactly what you did. I think we keep screwing did. up, guys. Genius. But what about my shower? Shit. Dang it, man. I said... Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Dad, you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. G, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Huh. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Huh. Did you say the words right this time? Well, maybe I didn't say every single tiny little syllable, no, but basically I said them, yeah. Passionate or cynical? Clinical. Why is he cynical? Clinical. Ugh. Don't worry, Max. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you alright? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um. What do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big-ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. 
There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on! Oh yeah. with that bastard cop's hiding. A syringe. Remember the uh, tarot card. We're not gonna go there. Gotta be a freaking tarot card in here, guys. Somewhere! <laughs> Gonna have to end this episode here pretty soon, guys. Oh, we got it! The chariot! The chariot? At the reins of the chariot, we would feel all feel safer taking control or relying on determination to make our choices valiant but in some cases foolish many seek refu refuge in ch chariots but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are huh. Hiding, Travis. Ev evidence. Letter instructing those behind the bizarre yet bona fide podcast to stop investigating. Heck, it's Corey. That says exit. We don't want to go out. I'm glad I didn't go out. Important to investigate. They took everything from me. 
Hello? It's Hag of Hackett's glory saying, they took everything from me. Who's they? The Hackett brothers? Look at the picture. Picture on the table, guys. Picture on the table. T. Hackett. Is his name Ted? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. Come on, big fella. Let's see what you got. Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. There's that freaking harem scarum poster. That's what I'm talking about. Figures, but I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. <sighs> Fuck, I'm gonna need to rest soon. Clues, man. We need clues. Clues. Oh, there it is. Fifty six, huh? Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. Pretty much all in here. <gasps> oh, come on, there's got to be something. Calendar? Yes! July 20th. Birthday beers. July 7th. July 7th. 7-7. Seven, seven. Probably missing something. July 7th. That is one day off from uh, Sylvester Stallone's birthday. This is July. I need to lie down. Sixth. She's getting tired. Guess what? We're gonna bring it into his computer first.
They change the password every couple of weeks, but I know where they write it down. Fuck yeah. at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby I just got an achievement. Bizarre yet bona fide. I feel like we're still missing something, guys. Faster. I don't know if this was the. I feel like there's got to be more in here. Ah, yeah. I knew it. I knew there was something else. This must be what he used to knock me out. Payback, bitch. I can hide this in my cell. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Now I'll go back to myself. <laughs> this episode has got to be almost over. It's gonna be a long one, guys. This is kind of like a, a, a backstory episode. You want to tell me what happened? <laughs> I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? Determined. We've got unfinished business. Honest. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Let's see you can handle your horror. Good. 
because I've saved the scariest ones for last. It's getting well, feel. So you made yourself at home. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes? Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. I think I screwed up, guys. Sh shit. All right, you quacks. Let's do it. <sighs> What's this? An education. Watch. Four. Ugh. So I got toasted marshmallow or stink bug. Oh gosh. Oh, oh. that's so freaking bad, dude. Oh. Nice job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. <coughs> You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor, and no, I'm not, and I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know, you know? Uh, no. What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're going to have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Confident? Let's end it. We're curious. Curious. So, how is your family involved? My family is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Speaking metaphorically, dude, right, or what? So you, you're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Forget it.
Let's see how smart you really are. Oh boy. Genius. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know, but it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. Hmm, concerned? Am I infected? Or confused? Why didn't you kill it? If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I, mean, I, I was... when I... Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. Hmm... Encouraging? Or cynical? <laughs> Actually, it's cynical this time. Uh... So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. Mm. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter, because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. 
He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there. Who? The counselor didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. They're still here, that's fucked up. Fucking bet one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? Nothing. You shot me. I'm telling Mom. I think your lucky stars wasn't silver. Ah! Uh -huh. You can't keep them here forever. I am handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers and that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to you, we're all in this together. Shit. Let's go to my office. Shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. <laughs> what is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? <laughs> no. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? Are you sure? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. But who Jesus, bit? Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Hmm. Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura! Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Give me the keys. 
You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. Let's just talk about it. You had your chance to talk. Keys. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Not the right path, I don't think, guys. I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <sighs> Come on. Uh, I don't know how we could have chosen it otherwise. Laura, please think about what you're doing. You're not so tough. Why don't you take some time? Think about why you're in here. Hmm. I'm sorry. Ah, guys. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks it's here. No, I, I still can. This. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. Well, shoot. What you're about to see is a collection of my new stories. And I made my way here, to camp. I left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's gotcha. it. Gotcha. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. So the one on the island was, was Wait. Max. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he 
went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... It wasn't Chris. It was his daughter. His daughter was a werewolf too! This episode is so long, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna have to pay the penalty. I'm gonna have to pay the penalty. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. I rolled a six. So, instead, instead of jelly bellies, oh, it's still hot. I want to touch the hiney. We're gonna eat three. We're gonna try these guys. We're going to take a pause and try some Carolina Reaper Flaming Hot Cheetos. So, I love Cheetos. I have to tell you guys, regular Cheetos, um, if, you wanna, if you want them to taste really good, this is going to sound weird, put them in the freezer. Freeze them for like several hours. Okay, so, three. Three, three... Flamin' Hot Carolina Reaper Cheetos. Count them. Count them. One, two, three, right? All right, here we go. Well... They have the uh, Carolina Reaper taste. Hey, I refuse to play your Chinese food mind game. But they are not. They're not hot. Nah. Pretty good though. Max. Hello? It's not Max. What is Max? Water lady, right now.
So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? What? What? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. No! We don't have much time. Man, you guys. Look at this. Oh boy. I thought so. Oh. So this I saw this lady on the so cover, but Who the hell is that? <laughs> Smell good, don't I? Go on. Take a bite. It's one of the redneck. Maybe it's like the wife. Dumb of the... fucking animal. Huh? It's one of the redneck people. That. Who the hell is that? God, let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! <laughs> Please let me go. Okay, I didn't mean for this to happen. Please, please. Oh my God, why aren't you answering me? Oh, oh, oh. Is your is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. Like lots of it. How you? I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh Jesus Christ! Come on, boy. That's too, Bobby. This is Bobby, like I said. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Who's who? That's what I want to know. Baby, I need some time alone to be by myself. By myself. Mm, careful what you wish. gonna be the end of the episode peeps it's gotta be it's a long freaking chapter yeah yeah nosy little rat aren't you poking your nose where it doesn't belong don't believe everything you hear anyway here we are again Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? I have my theory, guys. <clears throat> the chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant. But in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps, in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? But, 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 of course.
You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that. Yeah, well, as I don't. As long as you follow the right path, of course. Uh, ha. 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 Well, we're going to cut the episode, guys. I have a theory about this. I am not going to end with another Jelly Belly because we are so incredibly far over our time. Anyway, I'm out. I'm out with episode number nine. I'm out. Happy fourth. Oh my gosh. That was a freaking long episode, guys. I do apologize. I had no idea that this episode was going to be so long. Thanks for sticking around. If you're still here, um, incredible turn of events. I have all kinds of ideas with this thing. Obviously, the rednecks are... I'm not I'm not sure they're obviously they're they're bad but I'm not sure they're trying to they're trying to kill the werewolves obviously the hackett at least the the camp director guy is a werewolf right and Ted well we're calling officer Ted his name is actually uh, I think it was Trevor anyway officer Hackett is trying to protect uh his brother Anyway, um, crazy, crazy freaking long chapter. Um, so this lady you see kind of like right here, we saw her at the very end of the episode and I knew she was in there somewhere, but I, I wasn't sure. Anyway, so obviously she's one of the rednecks, I think, maybe. Um, if we kill Chris Hackett, then... That will cure um, Max, this guy. So, I don't know, though. Here's my theory. Here's my theory on the whole thing. I think, what if you kill the alpha, right? The alpha werewolf. Does that cure everybody or just the person he bit? Right? Who's the alpha? That's my question. Who bit Chris? Who bit Chris Hackett? Who is the original? And how would you know? Anyway, just a thought. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of The Cory. Hope you guys had or are having a great 4th of July. Um, Solo Sticks signing out of episode 9, guys. Saying, as I always say, keep it real and keep it raw.